All right, guys, so I'm coming here today. I'm working on this uh, back deck plate for the 64 Riviera. Now, I know this old uh, way of doing, doing things uh, somewhat obsolete. It's according to who you are, but I'm old school, so uh, I like the music whatever kind of music you like to play so big speakers big sound system so uh, these customized back deck plates uh, you know you could do them different ways you don't have to have as many uh, speakers as I'm <clears throat> having in this one you know the 6 by 9s the 5s and the tweeters but you know if you just if your back deck plate need to be redone and you're just uh, looking for a simple upgrade you can just lift your deck plate up a little bit and uh, put the six by nines back there you know so it's according to what you like but I'm going to come in here now. What I'm doing is that uh, this is a fiberglass piece. So I worked on this. I ain't worked on this in a couple of years. It's just been sitting around. If you watch any of my videos, you'll see it sitting in the background. So now that I got the 64 Riviera back down here, it's time to finish this up. So... What I did here so far, guys, is that I fiberglass this, uh, mud it. Now, I use quite a bit of mud on these. You know, it's on the inside of the car. Nobody should be touching it. So, but I'm using a high premium uh, filler. But less chance of it cracking or anything like that so with that being said guys um, I took and I had to plate this way first I pretty much got my shape okay but now I just want to turn this over and I just want to fill this in around these edges Then I come back in and mud on the opposite side. And all I'm trying to take out of here is the great big gaps, guys. So. And I come through before this dry with a razor blade. And just cut around the edge.
doing this back deck piece for the 64 Riviera so I put the put the grill in here and uh, I know it looked like I'm using a lot of mud here and actually I am this piece is going to be on the inside it's a structured piece I mean it's just uh, nobody's gonna be bumping this nobody's gonna be hitting this at all so once it's in the car for the sound system so it's a back deck piece it's gonna be in there I'm not gonna have to worry about thing falling apart or nothing so yes I'm stacking this mud up on here pretty thick but it's gonna turn out just fine like this guys so hopefully you see what I'm doing here Alright, so before this dries up too hard, I want to take a razor blade and stay right up against the outside of the speaker grill. Alright, so I want to cut that speaker grill out there, guys. And I did the same thing for this side here. Alright, so then... Just with 36 grit. This side was done and it's dry already now. I just want to stand this down. Until my grill fit in there. So now that my grill fits in there, that's good. So now if I need this to come up some, I can add a little body filler up under where the speaker sit at.
but that's good to go now so now I could come in and fill this in a little bit in here which I probably would do just you know for strength because I don't want none of these lips to break off here and I'll do the same thing with this side once this dries because I had this upside down and uh, I'm gonna go over and we'll try to get all of this off of here because I don't want this extra around that grill And then once this dry, I'll see if this will fit in here or not.